What's happening, my friendly Cat Mojo Tears? It is your cat, Daddy Jackson Galaxy, back with you today. We're in for another fun installment. And when I say that, I mean that in a real way and not a, like, it's a sarcastic way. Oh, it's another fun installment of uh, Jackson going into the Googleplex here and uh, finding out what you guys are searching when it comes to cats. So I always start this with just typing into the Google, why does my cat why does my cat sleep on me? And that's where we're starting today. Why does your cat sleep on you? I'm glad you asked me, Google. So why does your cat sleep on you? Let's break it down and give you the best answer so the next time your cat sleeps on you, you can go, oh, I know why you're doing this. Let's get going. And before I get started today, just saying, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and do it, what are you waiting for? Why not just hit that little button? I mean, how much effort does that take? And also just make sure that you hit the bell so that you get notified when there are new videos. It's a great way of making sure that this channel keeps chugging along. Reason number one why your cat would sleep on you. It's about warmth. It's about a warm place. Cats are just heat-seeking feline missiles. They will find that one little sliver of sunny spot in the house and sleep right there. Sometimes your cat will sleep on the heat vent or your computer, or in my case, they always figure out a way to sleep on the modem. We put off lots of heat, especially while we're sleeping. I mean, I am that heat source when I'm sleeping especially and my wife will be the first to admit it she doesn't let me anywhere near because I just put up so much heat but the cats they want to be near me when that happens and that's one of the reasons why they will lay on top of you and at, for those of you who have found that your cats don't sleep here but they sleep up here you know right by your ears that's because no place on your body puts off more heat consistently than your head and I you know what because I love you guys I will admit this I abdicate the pillow all the time. I wind up like sleeping on the mattress while Mowgli usually gets to sleep on the pillow. Our number two reason why cats would want to sleep on you, the second reason is it's a territorial vibe, you know? First of all, think about the fact that when it comes to cats, they're always leaving scent on things. And they do that with all of the multitude of scent glands they have all over their body, including on their sides, right here on their head. That's why they, uh, you know, one of the reasons why they'll head bonk you all the time. Uh, in between their pads, that's why they do the, you know, this kind of thing, all of that. Think about the couch or the bed where your scent is the strongest. So then you figure, well, why not just cut to the chase? Why do I, why would I want to like body mark the bed or body mark, I'm just gonna body mark the human. And so they'll just sleep on top of you and they're always leaving scent on you. Territoriality is just such an important thing for cats, uh, marking territory. And that's what they're doing when their body rests on you. Number three reason why your cat sleeps on you. Uh, and this is where we get into sort of leftover behaviors from kittenhood. They're, they like to just huddle in to places that uh, are safe and secure and warm and where they just feel like they're protected. And that's why you'll see kittens just really get into every place around mom they can. It's not just about being fed, it's about safety. And the same thing goes where if you've seen cats that like to curl up in boxes or places like that, Again, those closed in spots give them a sense of safety. And when it comes to kittens with each other, you see them sleeping together all the time, huddled together, especially when they're young. We call that, a, a, what do we call it? Cuddle puddle. Like I know the slang, you know? I mean, you kids with all your fancy sayings these days, but yes, it's a cuddle puddle. But there is more of a scientific term for that. It's called pillowing, where they just use each other for, you know, a pillow. Isn't that uber scientific? <laughs> anyway, pillowing, cuddle puddle, but you've seen cats cuddle in like that. And when they sleep on you, that's sort of that leftover, I'm looking for safety. I'm looking to make sure that everything is secure and you are that source of, of safety and security. You take over that role, uh, that maternal role as they get older. Uh, so it is a leftover kitten type behavior. The rhythm of your breathing and your heartbeat also reminds them of that comfort and security and safety and love that they've felt 
cared for by mom because in that cuddle puddle, in that pillowing situation, they are close to their mom's heartbeat. So you then become that for them, that reminder of love and security from kittenhood. And of course, at that point, if you've got like they're cuddled into you and they're listening to your heartbeat and the warmth of your body, now they start doing this, the little smurgle, the little making biscuits, of course, again, also left over from kittenhood. That is like the kitten to mom trifecta. You've got it nailed at that point. You are officially the cat mom surrogate. Now, our final piece of the puzzle of why cats lay on you, and I wanted to say this after I was talking about, well, it reminds them of kittenhood. We're forgetting the major piece of this. It's because they love you. Your cats love you. That's why they're doing it. And, and the whole seeing you as a surrogate and cuddling into you and making biscuits and listening to your heartbeat and making sure they're near so they can feel your breathing, whether it's the body heat, all that, it's a bond. It's about the bond between you. It's about the love between you. It's about the relationship. And it's interesting, isn't it? That even the fact that we have to ask the question, why does my cat lay on top of me? At what point do we go, well, my cat just loves me. That's why they're doing it, you know? I, you know, I did this as well. When I saw the question, for some reason, I thought to myself, why haven't I ever asked that question to myself? I guess it's because I always just assumed they loved it or they loved me, you know? And that is the case. These are all indications that the bond is really tight between you and your cat. We think about them as being aloof, independent, you know, they don't really care about us. Those are the things that non-cat people will say about cats. But the fact is, this is a demonstration of the opposite, that they really are seeking out not just your companionship, but your love, uh, what you bring in terms of safety and security and warmth and, and, you know, kittenhood and all that stuff. But it all just translates into my cat loves me. I'm fascinated by the fact that, that we, all of us, somewhere in the back of our head, I think we buy into the stereotypes of cats. Otherwise, we wouldn't ask this question all the time. And so I just wanna let you know, if you are that person saying, why does my cat lay on top of me while I sleep? Why does my cat sleep on me? Now you know your cat loves you on top of everything. It's not all territory. It's not all warmth. It's not all marking. It's not all blah, blah, blah kittenhood. It's about love, and it's about a, a, a close-knit relationship. Now, I do want to add this, because <laughs> I also know you guys, and I know that there's plenty of you sitting at home right now who are saying, whoa, 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 wait, my cat doesn't lay on me. <laughs> does, does that mean that my cat hates me? See, do I know you or do I know you? Don't forget, all cats are individuals. Whether it's what cats were exposed to or not when they were little, whether it's nature or nurture, they're individuals. And some of the tightest relationships with cats I've had over my life, they didn't sleep on top of me. Um, one of my, my soulmates uh, in this life was Valoria, who was with me for over 20 years. And in those 20 years, she never, not one single time, was like, hmm, I wonder what it's like to sleep on his neck or chest or on the top of his head, not one single time. And whether your cat has a bed that sits on the nightstand and maybe they sleep in that, or whether they just come up and, and body mark your legs while you're sitting on the couch, it doesn't matter. If you look for it, your cat is going to um, send you signals that they love you, and it doesn't have to be sleeping on top of you all the time. Uh, I did a video a while back, and hopefully it's right there, about, you know, can I teach my cat to sit in my lap? Which, of course, the answer was a resounding no. I mean, sure, you can train them to do something like that, but I'm like, come on, why would you do that? It, it's just like, you will love me the way I recognize love, damn it, you know? Whether they're sleeping on you, next to you, in the same room, on the bed, in a chair nearby, uh, in their own bed, uh, rubbing up against your legs while you're walking or meowing at you. There's so many different ways that your cat can say, I love you. And I've gone into those in other videos before. I mean, there's a video and lots of stuff around here. Uh, so you can watch them all, and I hope you do. And in the meantime, I hope that you take the moment and subscribe to this channel because this is how, uh, well, how I know 
that you love me without sleeping on my pillow. <laughs> and also just make sure that you hit the bell so that you get notifications since we have premieres all the time and new shorts that are coming out all the time as well. And I'd also love to know what you're Googling. I would like to be your personal Google. So in the comments here, make sure that you ask me some questions, but I'm gonna keep Googling anyway. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to figure out what makes you guys tick and so that you can figure out what makes your cats tick so that we can all just tick together. So until next time, everybody, go and spend some time with your cat and just tell them that no matter how they, they tell you, you know they love you. Right, they do. All right, light, love, and mojo to you guys.